question one identify the nets which can be used to make cubes cut out copies of the nets and try it here we have the first net and we have to show whether we can construct a cube out of it or not so this is our first move we will fold red square first of all as shown in the figure then we will turn this way then we will turn the page this way that is from the green fold and now this way so clearly you can see that this net will not make a cube because we have one square left which will overlap on red net if we will try to fold it and also one face is empty so first net or the first part will not a cube here we have the second part or the second net we will see whether we are able to make cube of it or not so first fold will be like this that is we will fold red and this other square from other end then we will rotate as shown in the figure and now we will let green square as the base of the cube and turn rest of two blue color square now we will fold the skin colored square and yes we are able to get a cube out of this net so second net makes a cube that was second part here we have the third net and you know very well that numerous net can make any 3d figure it is not like that only one net can make a 3d object there are many nets possible so first of all we will fold the red square and the pink square as shown in the figure then we will fold from yellow and green and now we will fold from blue and black and again we will see that we are able to construct a cube out of it so this is our third net and we are able to construct a cube and this was the starting net that we were given with now we have fourth part this folding process needs no explanation as you can see that how you can make a cube out of this net fifth part that is we have fifth net first of all we will fold all the extreme squares as shown in the figure so it is a good idea first of all to fold the extreme squares whenever you are constructing a 3d object out of its given net now we will fold from black doing so connects yellow square with red one as you can see in the figure now we are left with two squares but as you can see in the figure that if we will fold square it will come over yellow but we have studied in case of nets it is not allowed that is two squares cannot take one single position therefore fifth net or the fifth part does not make our cube now the last part sixth part this is our net first of all we will fold extreme squares we will leave blue one just to show you the construction of this cube in a simplest manner now we fold from yellow and black region and as you can see we are only left with one square that is blue in color and you can see if we fold it we will be able to construct a cube out of this sixth net so we have seen in this question various nets and whether they make a cube out of it or not so that was first second dice are cubes with dots on each face opposite faces of a die always have a total of seven dots on them here are two nets to make dice that is cubes the number inserted in each square indicate the number of dots in that box insert suitable numbers in the blanks remembering that the number on the opposite faces should total to seven we have studied in this exercise that opposite faces of a cube makes sum of seven so we will see to it but first of all let's check whether cube is possible with this net or not we will fold the yellow square and pink square so you will get this figure now we will fold red square and you will get this figure again we will fold from green square with this our cube has been created and now we will see whether this will make a dice or not so watching this cube carefully 
when we see red and black they add up to 7 that is 4 plus 3 is 7 and when we see yellow and green they add up to 7 5 plus 2 is 7 again this blue when it will be folded it will make a pair with pink so 6 plus 1 will give you 7 as well therefore yes first net will make a dice so in this way we check whether a dice can be constructed or not here we have the second net and we have to follow the same procedure first of all let's fold it we will fold the pink square first of all you can fold it in any way you like it's just that you have to finally construct a cube out of it after that we will fold from yellow part as we have shown in the figure then we will fold from black after that we will fold from red like this with this we have almost completed our cube we are not just connecting it so that we can show you background color that is black so when we will connect this blue in order to make the complete cube its opposite side will be black so blue is 4 and black is 3 so 4 plus 3 is 7 again yellow and red make 7 because 1 plus 6 is 7 and green plus pink make 7 because green is 5 and pink is 2 so in this way our dice can be constructed using this net so both net that is first and second net will make a cube out of it question 3 can this be a net for a die explain your answer once again we have the same question but a different net first of all like earlier we will make a move so we have rotated red square as we have shown in the figure now we are going to rotate our blue square again as shown in the figure now we will rotate from black that is black square like this and now we will rotate from green and with this our square is almost complete we are just not completing so that we can show you background color that is black color now we will see whether it is possible that is we will see for addition of opposite sides so yellow adds with black black is 3 and yellow is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 well it is not possible in this case well you don't have to see other combinations because if any of the criteria fails then cube cannot be constructed well for just justification let's see other combinations red and green that is 1 plus 4 it is 5 not making 7 again last pair that is pink and blue pink is 5 blue is 2 this does make a pair of some as a 7 but others do not make therefore answer 3 is not possible the same has been written answer 3 not possible so in this way you check whether it will make a dice or not seen dice many times because you play games by rolling it and whenever you see its opposite faces they will add up to 7 so in this way first of all we will check whether cube can be constructed of the net or not and second step is to check for opposite sides whether they make a sum of 7 or not so that is your third question fourth here is an incomplete net for making a cube complete it in at least two different ways remember that a cube has six faces how many are there in the net here you have two separate diagrams if you like you may use a square sheet for easy manipulation so here we are given with three that is three are there in net already because it is the answer for this question how many are there in the net here now we have to complete it in at least two different ways so we have already seen various ways in order to complete a cube out of given net so these highlighted with red are already given that is 3 and we have to construct rest 3 because as told many times that cube needs 6 faces cube has 6 faces and they can be arranged in different positions called nets remember that a cube has 6 faces that is the essential lesson to learn from this question so that is fourth fifth match the nets with appropriate solids so these are our solids and these are nets we have to match it here we have a b c d that is four solids and four nets are given so first is a q and we have studied many times that this is a net so we will match a with second now b it is a cylinder 
and cylinder has two circles as faces and one rectangle when it is rolled it makes your cylinder so be the third now see circular base and cone shaped net so c is with fourth and obviously last one it is a pyramid having square base so we have square base and we have four triangles when they are connected that makes a pyramid with square base so d with first well that completes your last question question number fifth